Under a heavy police presence, crowds gathered on the Tunisian capital's main boulevard to protest against the president. Their anger has been growing since July, when Kais Saeed suspended parliament and sacked the prime minister. Two months on, there's still no parliament, no prime minister, and people here say no plan to improve their lives. He's acting like he is the sun that is rising on the country, the general prosecutor, the president, the parliament, the government. He's acting like he is everything. The Tunisian people and its movement don't want by Said. President Said says his actions were needed to address economic stagnation and a poor response to the coronavirus. His critics are calling it a coup. And Saeed tightened his grip on power on Wednesday, announcing he'd rule by decree and ignore parts of the Constitution. But that Constitution was a hard-fought product of the 2011 revolution that triggered the so-called Arab Spring. Protesters say the president, who's a constitutional law professor, is endangering the progress that's been made, calling his actions a betrayal of democracy. We need to go back to the Constitution. We need to go back to the rule of law. We are a democracy, and nobody has the right to break this system, break this democratic system. Tunisia's largest political party, Enakta, is facing a crisis of its own. More than 100 party officials announced their resignation on Saturday, accusing its leadership of failing to counter Saeed's actions. It's quite clear that the political elite or the political sphere are... Uh, they didn't understand or they didn't, they didn't uh, assimilate uh, the huge psychological shock and the huge impact of the uh, July 25th decision and uh, the, the, uh, the 113 people there that resigned yesterday from Nahda. They were in conflict uh, with uh, the president of Nahda months before July 25th. Local and international human rights groups have condemned Saeed's power grab, warning of a slide towards authoritarianism. But there have also been demonstrations in support of the president. Kai Saeed has promised to uphold people's rights. But there are still fears here of a return to absolute one-man rule.